Welcome back to the InfoFlux. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to make IoT based home automation project using Adafruit IO and NodeMCU ESP8266. By home automation, we mean controlling appliances without a manual switch. Using internet connectivity, we can control 5 appliances using the Adafruit IO from anywhere in the world. I have connected 5 LEDs as a prototype. The Wi-Fi module NodeMCU ESP8266 will receive commands from the web dashboard wirelessly through the internet and turn on and off the LEDs. This project requires internet connectivity and can't work without internet connection. NodeMCU is an open source development board that use the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. It is perfect for IoT projects. On the other hand, Adafruit IO is a powerful platform that lets you create custom interfaces for controlling hardware remotely. For this project, we will require the following components. NodeMCU, LEDs, and breadboard. Connect the anode of the LEDs with digital pin D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5 respectively. Connect the cathode with the ground. Write the Adafruit IO in the Google and click on the Welcome to Adafruit IO. Then click on the Sign in button. I have already Adafruit IO account, so I will click on the Sign in button. If you have not created the Adafruit IO account, then click on the Create Adafruit IO account. Click on the feeds. Then click on the new feed. Give name to the feed which is relay1. And click on the create button. In similar way, we will create other four feeds. Then click on the web dashboard. Click on the new dashboard. Give name to the dashboard. And click on the create button. Click on the dashboard we have created. Now click on the dashboard setting. And then click on the create new block. and select the toggle switch. Link the variable which is relay1 and click on the next step. Now change the button on text to 1 and button off text to 0. And test value write 0. and click on the create block. The switch will be added to the dashboard in similar way. We add more 4 switches repeating the same process.
adjust the switches by clicking on the edit layout now click on the key button copy the username and paste it in the code then copy the aio key and paste it in the code now install the adafruit mqtt library After uploading the code successfully to the Node MCU board, you can start controlling the home appliances using the Adafruit I/O. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give us thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting projects if you have any questions or suggestions drop them if you have any questions or suggestions drop them in the comments below